Yeah, from um, from now on, I will disc I will discuss for the Fermi surface of metals and high magnetic field effect. In previous times, we studied for the energy band structure. <clears throat> this is more, this is a typical energy band structure, and uh, for example, here gamma K H A it means that uh, uh, certain points in the in the reciprocal uh, Brabice lattice vector, uh, Brabice lattice points, and also the energy eigenvalue uh, can be calculated from various uh, calculation prop calculation uh, methods like uh, uh, LDA or density functional theory, ab initial calculation. So many methods can be employed, and uh, the method can be uh, described later. But basically, as I said. The Fermi surface is very important uh, because in um, Fermi energy is uh, typical Fermi energy is about uh, 0 0.2 about a two electron volt and uh, uh, that kind of a uh, two electron volt when we convert it the, in the temperature uh, temperature re, uh, scale is about uh, twenty thousand Kelvin very high temperature uh, therefore and uh, these at ground state. In the uh, zero Kelvin, uh, zero Kelvin state, at very low, even though at very, uh, even if the very low temperature, the electrons do not freeze out, but uh, uh, electronic kinetic energy very high in the Fermi surface because uh, electrons is not a bosonic particle; it is a fermionic particles, and the fermion do, do not cannot occupy the same quantum state. Mm, so, so that uh, in K space. The electron accumulated from the ground state to the uh, higher energy energy level, and the highest energy surface we call it is the Fermi surface. Uh, before we discuss the Fermi surface, we should we already know that the Brillouin zone, and Brillouin zone is a representative uh, momentum space in uh, reciprocal lattice, and uh, it, it, we can think that, think that uh, Brillouin zone is kind of the unicell. Unicell region. Then, uh, basically, when we see this uh, structure, this is uh, the gray region is a uh, brilliant zone in the two-dimensional Fermi surface, and uh, here B prime B prime region is in the outside the br first brilliant zone, but uh, because of the translational symmetry, uh, outside of uh, outside of first brilliant zone can be reduced. Can be translated into the first brilliant zone because uh, here G means that G is the reciprocal lattice vector. Uh, there is a translation symmetry by the transla translational uh, uh, reciprocal lattice vector, and therefore reciprocal lattice vector back to the B prime to B is identical point because it is a repeated a repeated crystalline system. And here, therefore. We already know that uh, Laue condition. The Laue condition is that uh, k equal to k prime plus g. It is uh, a Laue Laue condition, and uh, also the wave function, wave function of the electronic wave function can be described to the b prime electron wave function at the b prime is identical to the electron wave function at the b point b. Therefore. It is the same point. Uh, here, uh, I should note that the uh, reciprocal lattice vector is a reciprocal space in the real space, and the real space, when the real space expands, reciprocal space decreases. Uh, here, the the outside of reciprocal lattice vector means that uh, it is uh, it is uh, <coughs> the reduced. Reduced to the uh, first Brillouin zone, therefore, and uh, we can think that the uh, energy band structure. And uh, here we uh, the first one is the reduced zone scheme, and basically the in free electron model should follow the energy band dispersion relation is that uh, energy is proportional to the k square. Therefore, the um, parabolic band structure along the energy energy versus momentum space and its parabolic band can be can be extended over a wide momentum range. 
But as I said, uh, here this minus pi of a to the pi of a is the Fourier first Brillouin region, region. Therefore, the outside, the outside of the first Brillouin region, region can be transferred to the reciprocal lattice vector position. Therefore, this dashed line can be translated to the two pi, uh, two pi case. Therefore, it can be translated to to a prime point can be translated to the a point. Therefore, in this region, uh, this dashed line region can be transported to the a point, and uh, it can be reduced to the into the first Brillouin zone region. In the outside of the a point, can also be transported to the reciprocal lattice vector. Then it can have the the other a prime point. A point can be also transported to the a prime point, and the, the outside energy band can be reduced to the first Brillouin zone. Therefore, here the in the the first the uh, the original. Original energy band in the first Brillouin zone we call it is uh, n equal to one band, and uh, the second band is that uh, second it is in the second Brillouin zone, and the uh, second Brillouin zone energy band can be transported in the first Brillouin zone. That's, mm, therefore, here it is uh, band index e equal to n equal two. Like that, n equal three, n equal four can be extended, and also extended band structure also can be reduced into the uh, first Brillouin zone. And here it is the reduced zone scheme. And reduced zone scheme is that the high order zones can be mapped directly onto the first Brillouin zone by simple translation by reciprocal lattice vector. And all Brillouin zones have the exactly the same area and same volume. And the first Brillouin zone corresponds to the primitive lattice cell in reciprocal lattice. Therefore, in many cases, reduced zone scheme is a representative, uh, representative picture of the uh, uh, band structure. The other band structure is that the periodic zone scheme. Periodic zone scheme is a translator band in the first Brillouin zone into every other zone by reciprocal lattice vector. It is opposite to the reduced zone scheme, and the here in the uh, it is it is an example of the per periodic zone scheme, and here then the at first. Uh, all the energy band can be reduced in the first Brillouin zone, and the red one, and the pink one, and the black one. And anyway, this region um, minus one to one is the first Brillouin zone. Then it can be extended over a wide momentum range. It is a periodic zone scheme. And also, we here it is a comparison of the different zone scheme, and uh, the first one. The left left one is the reduced zone scheme. Reduced zone scheme, as I said, and the uh, parabolic energy band structure can be reduced, uh, reduced into the first Brillouin zone. And here, this energy band gap we already studied for the origin of the energy band gap. The origin of the energy band gap is the Bragg reflection at the zone boundary because at the zone boundary there it is. Uh, uh, it is it is periodic translational system, and the uh, electron is a, not a particle but a wave in quantum mechanics, and therefore in the at the John scheme. And the reduced John scheme is the uh, can be uh, defined, and the energy band gap uh, we already calculated. We already discussed the Bragg reflection at the John boundary makes the energy band gap, uh, which makes the forbidden region. And uh, when we define that uh, uh, here, reduced zone scheme, and uh, it can be extended over, over the wide momentum range, we call it is uh, uh, extended zone scheme. And also, the, the right one is the original band structure. Original band structure is a parabolic band structure, but uh, at the zone boundary, first Brillouin zone and second Brillouin zone, there is an energy band gap. And here, the here this energy band can be in the second Brillouin zone can be transported, 
can be translated to the first three Buliang Zhong and this one, and the second Buliang Zhong can be in, reduced to the first Buliang Zhong. <coughs> Therefore, then the the energy band structure can be uh, can be constructed like this. Uh, here in the Fermi surface is uh, uh, I already say that the Fermi surface is the very important in solid state physics because all the physical phenomena um, uh, affected by the Fermi surface because at the finite temperature finite temperature is uh, 300 Kelvin is very small comparing to the Fermi energy. Uh, therefore, thermal fluctuation is very small. Therefore, and the uh, Fermi energy contribution is dominant in solid state. And therefore, here the Fermi we should know that the Fermi surface, uh, Fermi surface, uh, for only uh, only metal only metal has a Fermi surface. A semiconductor or the insulator do not have the Fermi surface. And the Fermi surface means that uh, and the free electron. Free electron model, free electron model in Jomofel theory, the suppose that it is uh, it is a theory of metal, <coughs> uh, therefore it is not a uh, of uh, there is no ferrum surface in the insulator or the uh, semiconductor. In semiconductor case, in some cases there is a ferrum surface, and here and how to understand the ferrum surface, and as I said, we we uh, we in in the uh, first chapter, chapter one, we calculated, we we studied for the Wigner-Zeit cell. Uh, Wigner-Zeit cell can be constructed like this. Here, there's a center. At the center, there is an uh, atoms. We choose we choose atom in the center, and uh, it can, the we can make the nearest neighbor nearest neighbor. Uh, uh, big, uh, nearest neighbor points, and here, 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 and the upside, downside, left and right. We can think that it is a first uh, for nearest neighbor, and the uh, nearest neighbor, the bisect intersection, bisect the intersection can make a closed loop, and uh, this closed loop is a first Brillouin zone, and here, therefore, then it is a first Brillouin zone. And this, then say how? What is the second Brillouin zone? Second Brillouin zone is that the uh, next nearest neighbor. Next nearest neighbor is the opposite side. Uh, here it is. Uh, first uh, yellow region is the first Brillouin zone, and the second Brillouin zone is the uh, the next nearest neighbor. Next nearest neighbor is a diagonal point on this on this point, and then bisect of the diagonal point is that. Uh, pink one, and also the uh, uh, right, down left, down right, down right side diagonal, diagonal point is that is the second nearest neighbor, next nearest neighbor, and the bisect point, and also bisect, bisect. Then the this pink, uh, pink, uh, pink region, pink region is the second brilliant zone. And uh, uh, surely we should exclude the first Brillouin zone region. Uh, therefore, they say we can define it the uh, uh, second Brillouin zone. The third Brillouin zone is the third nearest neighbor atoms, and the third nearest neighbor atom is there from center to the one the next nearest atom, and this region is the uh, nearest neighbor, ne uh, second nearest neighbor. Yeah, then. Uh, bisect and bisect. Then we can define that the close, uh, close region, and also exclude the first and second Brillouin zone. And we call it is a fourth Brillouin zone, like this. And the uh, ne next nearest neighbor, first Brillouin zone. The next nearest neighbor is second Brillouin zone. Third nearest neighbor, third Brillouin zone, like this. We can repeat it many times, and we can define that uh, the other uh, Brillouin zone, but. Uh, we already discussed for the uh, the the other uh, second, third, fourth Brillouin zone can be reduced reduced in the first Brillouin zone by the translation by the translation of Fermi surface. For example, in the two dimensional Fermi uh, surface, it is uh, isotropic isotropic uh, circle 
isotropic uh, uh, circle like this in the gray region and the uh, first Brillouin zone here and the second Brillouin zone and third Brillouin zone and the other uh, this kind of uh, Brillouin zone can be reduced to the first Brillouin zone for example when you like this uh, this uh, gray this white region white region is the first Brillouin zone and uh, the um, blue one, uh, uh, green one, green one is the second Brillouin zone, and uh, it can translate to the uh, two pi of a in the reciprocal lattice, uh, two reciprocal lattice vector uh, uh, vector position can be translated. Then the one green one can be uh, placed it in the one and two can be translated to the uh, left side two and the third one uh, three can be translated to the uh, upper side and the four can be translated to the right side therefore in this case and uh, the second Boolean zone can be reduced to the first Boolean zone like this and the uh, third Boolean zone also the third Boolean zone is a red, red region Red region 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and the, the index can be translated to as uh, translated like this. And the 1, 2, 3, 4, we can imagine that uh, this red one in the right side, and also the third Boolean zone also can be uh, mapped in the first Boolean zone like this. And the uh, third Boolean zone can be reduced in the first Boolean zone. But here, then the, we say that uh, the Fermi surface only like this and the uh, reduced zone scheme can make a map up in the two-dimensional Brillouin zone like this. And therefore here, yeah, then the, um, the Brillouin zone can be constructed like this and uh, therefore in, th uh, in solid state is a three-dimensional system and a three-dimensional system and therefore it is a two-dimensional mapping of the uh, Fermi surface and uh, like this we can imagine that the three-dimensional region like this in uh, real um, uh, real materials and uh, this alkali metal is the isotropic S, S orbitals S orbitals is very isotropic and uh, we can define that uh, position gamma and HP and uh, by uh, mm, mm, <coughs> here in the, it is a three-dimensional uh, momentum space momentum space or the reciprocal space uh, uh, reciprocal space Fermi surface and then it can be reduced to the uh, first Brillouin zone then also it is uh, uh, here it is noble metal like a copper energy band structure can be can be calculated like this and the gamma x w l can be defined in this in this uh, uh, in this reciprocal lattice vector position and also can be expanded expanded in one dimensional energy eigenvalue state and only we the Fermi surface is only the Fermi energy level Fermi energy level not a balance band state and here like this we can construct the Fermi uh, Fermi surface and uh, there are many examples to the uh, calculation real calculation of Fermi surface can is very sophisticated it is the representative Fermi surface of metals in the copper rubidium cesium is alkali metal in alkali ores and uh, transition metal <coughs> shows the various kinds of Fermi surface and uh, the, when when we see this Fermi surface we can or should, we can uh, uh, we can get an inf very important information that the uh, uh, dimensionality of the electronic state and also the transport behavior or the magnetic properties and much amount uh, much information including the Fermi surface.